Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at conditional statements in logic and implication. A conditional statement in logic is one where one statement implies another statement. We write that as P arrow Q, which is read P implies Q or if P then Q. So let's consider an example. Consider the conditional statement, if your report card has more A's than B's, your grandma will give you $5. In this case, the P in our statement is, if your report card has more A's than B's, and our Q is, your grandma will give you $5. So here, the outcome of P will tell us about the outcome of Q. P implies Q. So let's look at the truth table for our implication, P implies Q. We'll start with our normal true, true, false, false, and true, false, true, false organization for P and Q. Then we'll take a look at how those create the truth tables for P implies Q. We're gonna do this through the lens of our promise here. If your report card has more A's than B's, your grandma will give you $5. So we're gonna think about in each case did grandma keep her promise? So let's start with our first outcome. If P is true and Q is true, then we could say your report card had more A's than B's, that's P true, and your grandma gave you $5, that's Q true. So there, grandma kept her promise. So we would say that has a true value for P implies Q. In our next organization here, true, false, True, your report card had more A's than B's, but false, your grandma did not give you $5. In this case, the promise that grandma made was broken, so we would give this a false truth value. In our next instance, false, true, your report card did not have more A's than B's, that's P false, but your grandma did give you $5, that's Q true. Here, your grandma didn't break her promise, she was just extra generous. So promise kept means we get a true truth value. And finally, false, false. P false, your report card did not have more A's than B's, and your grandma did not give you $5. Here, grandma did not break her promise, she kept her promise. So we get, again, a true truth value. So if we think about promise kept and promise broken, if both P and Q are true, then of course the promise is kept and we get a true value. If P is false, then the initial statement didn't hold up, you know, our end of the bargain. Here, we didn't earn more A's than B's. So no matter what grandma does, she kept her promise. So we get true. So the only time we get a broken promise is if we did earn more A's than B's, but we did not get our $5. So when we have a P true, Q false. A biconditional statement in logic is one where each statement implies the other. This we denote with a double-sided arrow. Here we would read this as P if and only if Q. And the way that we wanna think about this is P implies Q and Q implies P. So let's look at the truth table for our biconditional statement, P if and only if Q. So we'll start with P and Q, then we'll look at our conditional statement, P implies Q, then we'll look at our conditional statement, Q implies P, and finally to our biconditional statement. Beginning with our usual organization, P implies Q we know is true, everywhere except when we have true implies false or true then false. Now looking at our columns the opposite direction Q then P, true true gives us true for Q implies P, false true anytime that the first statement is false, it doesn't matter what the second statement is, we get true. True false is our only place where we have a broken promise, so we get false. And false, false, again, gives true. 
Now, remembering that our biconditional is a conjunction of our two first conditional statements, P implies Q and Q implies P, we know that this will only be true when both statements are true. So we get true, false, because here P implies Q is false, false, and true. Next, let's take a look at the truth table for P implies Q or Q implies P. We'll begin in much the same way with P and Q, then P implies Q, Q implies P, and then we'll look at the disjunction of the two. Beginning with our usual arrangement for P and Q, P implies Q, again, gives us true everywhere except true then false. Q implies P go the other way. We get true, true, false, true, only getting false when we get true then false. And then we look at the disjunction. Remember, or here is inclusive. So this will be true anytime either one of them is true or if both are true. So true, true gives us true. False, true gives us true. True, false gives us true. And true, true gives us true. This is what is called a tautology or a statement that is always true for every combination of true, false for the original statements. All right, guys, that does it for this video on conditional statements and implication. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.